How's it going, y'all? I've already roused back with more Marvel Legends. We have a bunch of figures today, actually, because the Bonebreaker Wave is on clearance at Target. So I'm like, why not grab these three for their clearance prices? We already had Sabretooth, so we've got Siren, we've got Vulcan, and we've got Darwin that we're going to go over right now, and we're going to put the pieces that we get with the other pieces from Bonebreaker that I had, because I've been on a bit of bath kick lately. We'll take a quick quick look at these boxes and the figures and with all that being said let's get these bad boys and girls open as you can see we have all three boxes here all three say marvel legend series x-men marvel's vulcan marvel's siren and marvel's darwin and you can see that down here and they are part of the bone breaker wave because you can see those parts just sitting there in the box he's a cool build a figure and i'm like clearance prices ka-ching Marvel Siren, inheriting her mutant sonic scream from her father, Banshee, and raised by her criminal uncle, Black Tom Cassidy, Teresa Cassidy forges her own heroic path with X-Factor as Siren, another one of the uh, Bath Build-A-Figure Bone Raker wave, so good to have her. She's also cool, and Black Tom Cassidy's niece, and we have him, so I guess we'll throw him in the comparison, huh? Marvel's Vulcan. Vulcan sets his sights on total galactic conquest. Standing in his way are the X-Men, the Inhumans, the Kree, and his brother, Havoc. Yes, Vulcan is Havoc's brother, which also makes him Cyclops' brother. So that's the first box. There's the art, and there's the bath pieces down there. Nothing new. And then here we have Marvel's Darwin. True to his name, Darwin has the power to adapt against any threat be it searing volcanic heat or the cold vacuum of space. You know, we're not going to look down at the bath pieces because we know what's in there. I just need Maggot to complete him, but I do want Havoc. Actually, I need Havoc as well. So I lied. I need Havoc and Maggot. So I want Havoc. I'm going to get him. I want Maggot. I'm going to get him, but I'm going to have to wait until they're on clearance and I see them at Target or on Amazon or something. But with all that being said, let's get these bad boys and girls open. How's it going, y'all? I've already roused back with more Marvel Legends. We have a bunch of figures today, actually, because the Bonebreaker wave is on clearance at Target. So I'm like, why not grab these three for their clearance prices? We already had Sabretooth, so we've got Siren, we've got Vulcan, and we've got Darwin that we're going to go over right now, and we're going to put the pieces that we get with the other pieces from Bonebreaker that I had, because I've been on a bit of bath kick lately. We'll take a quick quick look at these boxes and the figures and with all that being said let's get these bad boys and girls open as you can see we have siren darwin and Vulcan, and also bone breaker to the side out of their boxes bone breaker was a little bit difficult to put together with all the tiny pieces from Sabretooth, but there he is we're just missing the head the gun and something else in the back i don't know it's what um havoc comes with but as you can see vulcan is on that new pinless body and siren is on that shriek um i don't know if it's the same body but it is the same legs and arms because they are pinless which is nice to see darwin is not it, but i believe it's on the pizza spidey buck because there is no boot cut on there but vulcan is the new standard body for like superheroes going forward as far as like regular suited standard size people go that's the new buck it used to be um bucky cap but now it's vulcan same with um shriek and females double jointed legs double jointed elbows pinless that's the new buck for the female body as far as like legs and arms go really quickly before we take a look at the whole wave together that it took to build bone breaker here are havoc the most like summer's brother and maggot and maggot's a big boy he's a lot taller than havoc and i believe havoc is on that retro spider-man body with like a I think because it's not it's not as slim as Darwin so I think it's the retro spider-man body which is cool be nice if it was pinless they could have used the Vulcan body considering their brothers wouldn't have been that hard for y'all Hasbro but it is what it is pins no pins we still get more figures and finally here is the entire wave well minus Wolverine I do not need another Wolverine at this point in time I'd like to get the classic golden brown at some point but not right now um, here is bone breaker He's a goofy looking dude, but he's got a cool tank for a body, so I wouldn't mess with him. And this is articulated, so that's cool. Uh, lots of nice paint details on him. This came with Havoc, and the head and the gun came with uh, Maggot, so we needed them to complete him. But I'll say, as far as baths go, this one's pretty cool. I don't generally like go all in to get a bath, but considering how cheap this entire wave was, like 12 bucks a piece, 
uh, 12 and some change. You can't really pass it up for something so unique because like they, Hasbro did not, you know, it's on it. Well, the arms, obviously they have pins, so they're reuse. The body torso is probably too, but everything else, you know, brand new. So that's a cool thing. And then we got a whole bunch of X-Men behind him and I don't have enough X-Men. So don't know everyone's teams and where they all fit, but I know Havoc is a good guy. Vulcan is mostly a bad guy. Sometimes uh, doesn't remember he's a bad guy, but you know, it took them to build him and it's cool. They're all going to sit on my X-Men slash bad guy shelf, bad guy shelf, probably. Uh, well, we'll see if he can fit, but yeah, we've got another bath here and he is cool looking. We can check out the height of all of these guys really quick. Siren's not standing up straight, but that's okay. Maggot stands at about uh, seven and a quarter inches. Darwin is about six and a half. Havoc stands at about six and a half. Oh no, Peter. Vulcan stands at about six and a quarter. And Siren crouched down is like five and a half, but she's more like six inches standing tall. And Bonebreaker here with his tank body is six, six and a half inches. Sorry, Havoc. Sorry, Peter. So with all of that being said, you guys, I will say this wave and Bonebreaker were totally worth it because they were totally worth it to me. Most of them I got under retail, so can't really complain about that. If you guys like this video, go ahead and smash that like button down below. Hit subscribe if you're not subscribed. And of course, comment down below. Let me know what you think of all these X-Men waves. What kind of baths you want to see in the future? Who you want to see as a bath? Who you want to see in X-Men waves? All that good stuff. How you're doing? How your day is going? As always, I love you. I will see you next time and bye-bye.